Welcome back to Lego Bros UK and in today's must watch episode we will be unveiling the impressive performance of our 2023 investments just one month in. We've got some exciting news about a major move in the Lego inventory landscape, answers to some fantastic questions that deserve more attention and a comprehensive update on our recent purchases, sales and our strategic plan for 2024. Trust me, today's video is packed with so much valuable content that you don't want to miss this. But before we get started, let's make it clear, we are not financial advisors. Always make responsible decisions with your own money. And if you enjoy our content, simply hit the like button and subscribe. That goes a long way to making our efforts worthwhile. Now let's jump into this unmissable Lego adventure. Now let's start with the value of our 2023 investments. We've analysed our data to show you how much we could potentially make by selling all of our 2023 investments just after one month. To help you understand how we gathered this data, we considered the last 10 units sold on our preferred platform that met the criteria of being in new condition, sale was made using the buy it now option, and excluded any sale where the buyer had accepted an offer as we are unable to verify what that final offer was. We then calculated the average sale price for each unique set and compared this against our inventory. So let's jump into our top performing sets. Claiming the fifth spot is none other than the set we are absolutely confident about, the BD1 Droid. It's currently boasting an average sale price of £100.39. This represents a remarkable 102% increase from our initial £49.70 average purchase cost. It reinforces a crucial point that we consistently emphasise. The set's performance against its retail price is secondary. What truly matters is how much you paid for it and the significance of maximising those discounts. Acquiring a total of 11 BD1 droid sets for just £546, if we sold all these at the current average price, this would yield us a total of £1,104. Our strategy for these sets involves potentially selling a few around the £120 mark and holding on to the rest. I anticipate a potential rise to maybe around £150, particularly considering the future involvement in the Star Wars universe. Moving on to our third most purchased set of 2023, the Alex Brickhead. This coming at number four. This currently fetches an average price of £19.42, marking an impressive 106% surge from our initial average purchase price of £9.40. It is important to note that we had received numerous gifts with purchases with these sets. If we were to calculate the return on investment and the entire orders, including the gift with purchases, then this would be even higher. With a total of 45 Alex Brickhead sets purchased for £422, the current value suggests a return of 873 I believe this is just the beginning for the Minecraft Brickheads and my confidence is high that their value will continue to appreciate. Now in third position, we have a Harry Potter set. Any guesses? It might not be the one you were initially thinking of. It's actually the Ministry of Magic. Priced at an actually very disappointing average of £68, which is disappointingly £22 below its recommended retail price. But seeing as we secured four of these for an incredible bargain price of £32, this then puts it in a favourable position, with an impressive gain of over 111%. Interestingly, if you were to seek the consensus from the LEGO investing community on why, how well this set is actually performing, you probably won't receive much positivity, either due to the focus on its RRP or the fact that people had invested in this set at a too high price point. However, our ability, again, to acquire it at such a low cost using discount sites is allowing us to achieve a rapid two times the return on investment. Now securing the second spot, is also the runner-up in our most purchased set of 2023. And it also happens to be Michael Jackson's favourite animal. Chief, you can do the noise of a llama. I know that you keep a llama. Tell me where the llama is. We don't have none here. I ain't moving till I see the llama. Well, too bad. We don't have any llamas here, all right? Oh, come on. We have 46 llamas in our collection, purchased at an average cost of just £9.36. 
Currently, these sets are commanding a selling price of £19.99, resulting in an impressive 113% return on investment. So it's no wonder MJ loves llamas. Now breaking into our number one set. We have 76596, the T-Rex breakout. Now, remarkably, this set is currently retailing for less than £90. Specifically, it's at £88. However, our average cost again for this set was only £38.40. This results in an exceptional return on investment of 131%. So as we highlighted in a previous video, the total value of all our 2023 sets against the RRP is £38,417. So once we add the total value of all our sets based on the current selling value, how much do you think it'll be worth? Are you going higher or lower of £38,417? Adding up the current average selling prices of all these sets brings us to £39,479. However, after deducting our average selling fees, postage cost, which currently averages around 15%, the grand total would be £33,557. So a disappointing £5,000 loss? Or is it? At the risk of sounding like a broken record, we don't really care about RRP. The actual price we paid for all of these sets was £24,459. So we're looking at a gain of a little over £9,000. And that's just after the first month of 2023. And there's a promising upside for most of these sets as the year progresses. This just really shows how important it is to use gift with purchases, reward points and cashback that have played into our strategy. As always, a quick reminder, the referral link is below in the description of the cashback sites we use. These links will give you a bonus if you sign up and make a purchase using them. Just remember, it's not only Lego you can get cashback on. The key takeaway here is to shift your investment decisions away from focusing solely on the RRPs. Instead, base your investments on the amount you can pay for the sets. That's precisely why we have a variety of sets that others might steer clear of. We hope you enjoyed this insightful update and you found it intriguing. Now each week, we want to give some feedback on some of the comments that we're receiving on the channel. We appreciate the engagement from our viewers, such as Jaman3459, who rightly highlights the importance of staying informed about new releases and potential shifts in LEGO's future plans. So let's have a look at the question. What's your opinion on the gunship now, since the clone troopers are in the new battle pack and soon to be in the new Star Wars magazines? So our answer to this is, it's one of the reasons that we avoid heavy investment in the first half of the year, because the dynamics can rapidly change, not just in terms of retirement dates, but also in LEGO's future release plans. Staying current with the new releases, it's crucial for predicting future trends. Keep in mind that our opinions and predictions are relevant at the time of creation, based on the information that is available to us. They may evolve as new information emerges, so it's essential to stay informed through various channels like websites, social media and YouTube, etc. From an investing standpoint, it's always disheartening when exclusive features of sets such as minifigures or specific parts are announced in other sets. However, this doesn't render the set non-viable. It simply requires a re-evaluation of the potential upside based on the price you can acquire it for. But to the answer, while it's not an ideal scenario, I still believe that this set holds enough upside potential to yield a good return particularly when you consider the other gunships within the 1,000-piece price range, and there's quite a few, they fetch prices ranging from 400 to £1,000, depending on the set. This clearly indicates the high desirability of gunships in the market. While strictly not in the same as those other gunships in question, therefore it is fair to assume that it will not have the performance and demand as those other sets. However, this set retails exclusive to LEGO and Smiths in the UK, 
And as we all know, Smiths are not known for the best deals. If you can focus on acquiring this set with the gift with purchases, cashback and insider points from Lego, I genuinely see a potential of a two times or even three times return on investment with this set, unless its shelf life is extended. Also, the fact that the UCS gunship is taking some time to sell out might be discouraging for many investors, meaning less stock will be acquired for investing. Many individuals focus too much on how previous sets did and fail to make predictions on future possibilities. The ATST is a prime example of this. The ATST Raider was so hyped and stockpiled that once it retired, it almost became a total dumpster fire on the aftermarket. So I didn't see any hype around the ATST Hoff set that retired in 2023, and we managed to secure several around the £30 mark, and prior to the reduced selling fees that went on offer on various websites, this set was fetching £70 to £75, which I believe is none other than the fact that people avoided it just because of the Raiders' performance. Here's another illustration of our strategy with the Ahsoka Tano T6 Shuttle as it currently contains an exclusive Ahsoka minifigure, but despite leaked information suggesting that the minifigure would appear in the 2024 advent calendar, it didn't deter me from acquiring my initial T6 investment set, particularly considering the enticing discount we secured of almost 50% off. However, we certainly disengaged the hyperdrive when the retirement date was unexpectedly removed from 2024 retirement lists and pushed back by year. Again, this information was provided by Brick Fanatics, which is a great source of information, so please check on it regular. This development certainly prompted a re-evaluation and caution in terms of acquiring additional sets, at least for this year. Let's look at another comment we thought we should address, and this is from Spiff Spacer, who said, Did I see the McLaren in the background isn't retiring until the end of 2025? While we've consistently emphasised the importance of investing in sets due to retire, here I am seated in front of the McLaren that rightly so is not a set for retirement. Do I stand by my decision to purchase this early in 2023, even though it won't retire for another two to three years at time of purchase? Absolutely. Why? Because I consider myself more of a collector than an investor, and here it is now. As you can see, it's built, and this is displayed in my Lego room. And further to that, I am a big McLaren fan. Now on to some exciting news. We've got a significant move on the horizon. We'll be relocating all of the sets from our brother's current residence to his new home, and we're also moving our entire self-storage inventory with it. The strategic move aims to streamline all the time and effort involved traveling back and forth, along with reducing the overhead costs to enhance profitability and also facilitate the growth in 2024. However, I should point out that my brother's move was not done for the point of Lego investing. But if you see how much we have, then you'll be forgiven for making that assumption. Please leave your comments below if you'd move house for your Lego investments or you'd do it for the love of your life. February is going to be a bustling month for us and we're contemplating whether you'd be interested in witnessing the process. Perhaps we could discuss how we organise our racking, showcase our inventory setup and provide you with an exclusive look at our extensive set collection. Naturally, the move itself is going to take quite a lot of effort and it's going to keep us occupied and filming will add to the workload hence we'll undertake the effort if this aligns with your interests so please share your thoughts in the comments below so now let's dive into our recent acquisitions initially our plan was to hunt bargains among sets anticipated to retire by 2024 while we kicked off with some fantastic discounts on set earmarked for retirement, a challenge emerged. The release schedules for sets can be subject to change, as we experienced firsthand with the initial week of the year with the T6 shuttle. We made noteworthy purchases of six sets from Amazon Spain, bagging three orchids at £23.33, securing a generous £48 discount in sets. These orchids have a swift resale value of £37 each, allowing us to quickly turn the profit on these free sets and provide us with additional funds for future investments. Additionally, we acquired our first dream set, specifically the Grim Keeper, at an impressive price of just £14.44 each, reflecting an almost 55% discount. 
These sets are stated for retirement this year. While predicting the retirement performance of this theme is challenging, the significant discount provides us with enough potential upside, which makes the risk worth taking. We have also snagged half price UCS land speeder. Now, this is a topic that we have gone over extensively in two prior videos, so there's no need to delve back in again to that. Furthermore, we purchased some mighty Bowsers based on the rumours of their retirement over in the next five months. Unfortunately, these plans have been disrupted and now it has been postponed for the end of 2025. The changing retirement dates prompted us to adjust our strategy slightly. As we showed you in a previous video, Brick Fanatic's retirement list is approximately 80% accurate at this time of year meaning that one in five of our current 2024 purchases may find themselves still available to purchase beyond 2024. Therefore, we shifted our focus to acquiring residual stocks of sets that retired in 2023 for reasonable prices that already have strong aftermarket performances. And let me tell you, we unearthed some real gems. So we stumbled upon two bookshops, two police stations and another Harry Potter Gryffindor house banner during January's treasure hunting. The average cost for the bookshops was just £141, for the police station it was £142 and surprisingly we snagged the house banner for just a mere 22 despite discounts ranging from 16 to 25%, which are genuinely lower than our typical bargain hunting returns, the exciting aspect is that our investment is already up and running and it is in play. These sets have already ceased production and its supplies diminished, they will hopefully continue to appreciate in value. A prime example of this is the police station, which is currently fetching £220 in the aftermarket. To discover these opportunities, we explore stores in different countries by adjusting our device locations. This allows us to unlock features on social media marketplaces, popular auction sites and other competitive platforms that aren't accessible in the UK. Since we are frequent travellers also, we also make it a point to check out local toy stores as you never know what treasures you might uncover, just like the two police stations you saw earlier. Now, understanding the advantages of your location is crucial. Utilising them to the fullest extent can yield significant benefits. For instance, if you reside near supermarkets that stock Lego products, make regular visits for the off chance you might find sets on clearance. If Lego stores are nearby, then take advantages of visiting the store to surpass the buying limits for the highly sought after exclusive sets. Always leverage the advantages of your home location to maximise your opportunity. Now, in terms of sales, we are gearing up for a significant number of transactions once a selling promotion became a valuable. However, what unfolded taught us a valuable lesson for the future. We had earmarked numerous sets to sell during the weekend when this was a reduced selling fee offer on our preferred platform. Now, unfortunately, it turned out that many others had the same idea. Sets that we were monitoring... So available listings double or even triple, leading to a noticeable drop in average selling prices by up to 25%. For example, let's take a look at the Dark Trooper Helmet. These were priced over at 95 to 100 pound and quickly dipped to 80, 85 pound. And I believe there's been another promo at time of recording and this has dropped further down to 70 pound. Bookshops, which were priced over 200, plummeted to the 150, 160 pound range, and the Llama Village, which was fetching as much as 200 pound, has slid back to 150 pound. The ATST, initially over 70, has dropped to 50 pound. However, we observed an interesting trend with certain sets, like the police station, which had initially dropped from 225 to 180 pound, but this has quickly bounced back to 220. This could suggest a scarcity in the stock being held compared to other sets. And we did list a few items for sale, focusing on those where we were comfortable with the current market price. Now, we don't want to enter a price war with other sellers and opting for patient at the present time seems to be the best way to go. I don't think these sets will be the hot potato, so I'm content to let the market settle before making any sales. 
This experience is something I'll keep in mind for the upcoming year, perhaps considering to sell some prime FOMO sets even without the offer of reduced selling fees, which may enable us to reinvest in residual stock that we've successfully done this month. Did any of you notice this pattern? How are you handling the selling of your sets? Are you seizing the opportunity while the market is active or are you adopting a more patient approach just like our strategy? As a final note, we plan to release a comprehensive monthly update video covering all of our activities. Now your input is crucial and this will help shape our content to meet your interests. So please take a moment to leave a comment letting us know exactly what you'd like to see because we aim to create content that aligns with your preferences ensuring that we don't invest time in topics that do not interest you and in turn it wastes your valuable time we're also considering introducing some unboxing videos considering we have a large amount of deliveries this requires less preparation and editing which would allow us to provide you with more frequent updates additionally once the movie is complete we anticipate having more space opening up exciting possibilities for filming so your feedback your suggestions are greatly appreciated as we at the end of the day strive to enhance your viewing experience and also help you learn something here again i'd just like to say to everyone that has watched this far thank you for being part of our journey and